What is immersion? We could say it's the quality or feeling of being immersed in a story or movie or game. And by immersed, we mean surrounded by it, enveloped in it, wrapped up in it, like a blanket covering us with warm story goodness. It is that state of being in which we suspend our disbelief, where we can imagine actually being in the story, the movie or game. I would submit to you that it is, in fact, a sort of trance state, a period of self-hypnosis by which we alter our perception from merely receiving input to actually decoding input and compiling it into an internal perception. Self-hypnosis? Trance state? What kind of New Age crystal worshipping nonsense is this? I will pause for those who wish to engage in a moment of rabble, 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 rabble. Still though, I ask you to hear me out when you're done. When most people read a book, a book they enjoy at least, they are entering unquestionably an altered state of consciousness. How do we know? Well, if we ask them about their experience, they can describe the story, the scenes, the action as if they were actually there. They don't merely parrot back the text verbatim, they give us their interpretation of it. And in turn, when they read, they don't simply plod along reading out each word at a time. The mind begins to assemble the words into sentences, into a fluid motion of meaning. The mind is decoding the text at a sentence level and compiling it into a story with images, action, and atmosphere. Sound familiar? When the process works well, when the reader is in tune with the author's style and the author is spot on with even the little details of spelling and grammar, the program of the book runs and the reader experiences it. They are immersed. They are also completely awake, completely aware, but in that same procedure by which they internalize their perceptions, they are ignoring or at least deprioritizing real world perceptions. They are unquestionably in an altered state of awareness, an altered state of consciousness. Okay, so what does this have to do with games and immersion? Words are not physical items. I can type sword and I can say sword, but doing neither produces an actual physical sword. So in terms of reading, the word sword is a code or representation of the physical object of sword. In gaming, we create visual representations, but not actual objects. We use polygons and textures or pixel art, always in the end pixels on a screen, but never a sword that can be wielded, touched, or taken. Books encode sword as text. Games encode sword as art. Both, however, are still code. They are still representations, not actual physical things. The reader or player must decode these symbols and then compile them into the brain's internal perception. So if books and games are simply different languages for programming the imagination, the internal perception, books being, forgive the pun, read only, then immersion is the ability to create fluidity of translation a harmony of words or images or gameplay that can allow the reader's mind or the player's mind the freedom to interpret the experience without distraction. And if these two things are so related, are not then the pitfalls of one the pitfalls of the other? When reading a book, misspelling, poor grammar, or stilted grammar can result in the mind breaking its trance state. The compilation of text to imagination is disturbed as the brain attempts to assess the actual meaning of the mistakes and often is nonplussed by the disturbance. In gaming, faulty AI, missing or broken textures, system crashing, and other distractions are added on top of the actual concept of story, adding more moving parts, as it were, to fail. On the one hand, the graphic coding of symbols is potentially an easier language for the mind to translate. When done properly, the experience can be transformative. But on the other hand, the complexity of systems beyond and including basic text in any given game can add a myriad more fail points, more paths to disconnect the brain from translation and compilation and break immersion. What then, in the end, is immersion? 
It is the state in which the mind can freely translate the given story, movie, or game into its own internal perception. It is the imaginary feeling of being there, created when the medium in question is free of distraction or mistake and allows for fluid, continual translation and experience. I would like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Also, I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel's main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel's about page. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video interesting and maybe just a bit thought provoking. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and a share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.